Hallelujah. Glory to your name, O oh Lord. We just thank you for this day. It's an awesome day that God will allow us to wake up again, to see another day. And even on today, which is um, Good Friday, we thank God for everything um, that he's done, not just in our lives, but even even now, even in the midst of everything that's going on, we just have to, to wake up and just praise God for each and everything that he gives us. So I'm going to be doing some declarations and decrees on this day. I'm going to be um, just reading some scriptures um, because we just want to, I always like to remind God of his word and um, to speak the word into the atmosphere. And so we just thank God for this day. We thank God for him uh, sending his son for, uh, to die upon the cross and then to rise up on the third day. We thank you, Father God, that First Peter 2 and 24 says that he himself bore our sins in his body on the tree, that we might die to sin and live to righteousness. By his wounds, you have been healed. And so, Lord God, we speak healing over each and every person. Lord God, we come against any attacks, Lord God, upon us, our body, our minds, Lord God, even upon our family and our friends. Father God, we thank you for your word in John three sixteen and 17, which says, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever would believe in him would not perish but have eternal life. For God did not send his son into the world to condemn the world, but in order that the world might be saved through him. And so, Lord God, we thank you for your son, Jesus Christ who you sent, Father God, for the remission of our sins. We thank you, Father God, that you sent your only son to die upon the cross for us. And so, Father God, through that, we thank you, Lord God, that we are saved through the blood that was shed on Calvary. We thank you for your word in Mark 10 and 34, which says, And they will mock him and spit on him and flog him and kill him. And after three days, he will rise. And so, Lord God, we thank you, Lord God, that on the third day, he rose with all power in his hands. We thank you, Father God, for even that power that you have given us through Christ Jesus, Lord God, to speak to those things in our life, Lord God, that may be trying to hinder us. You, you said in your word to speak to the mountain and it will be moved. You thank, I thank you, Lord God, that you said that you have given us power and authority to tread upon serpents, upon scorpions, Father God. Lord God, we thank you, Father God, that these things shall not harm us. And so we speak, Lord God, that authority over every area and aspect of our life. Lord God, we thank you for Mark 9 and 31, which says, for he was teaching his disciples saying to them, the son of man is going to be delivered into the hands of men and they will kill him. And when he is killed after three days, he will rise. Father God, we thank you, Lord God, for the, the bruising, Father God, the blood that was shed by your son, Lord God. And even, Lord God, as he was given into the hands of man that killed him, Lord God. We thank you, Father God, for the, the cross that we bear each and every day. We thank you, Father God, for the trials and tribulations that we go through. You said, Lord God, that if your son was hated, if they, they mistreated him, Father God, that they're, we're going to have the same thing done to us. And so we just want to thank you for that. We thank you because you chose us. You adopted us, Father God. And even though we have to go through things, Father God, we thank you that our greatest reward is going to be in heaven. And so we just lift you up on today. Mark 8 and 31 says, and he began to teach them that the son of man must suffer many things and be rejected by the elders and the chief priests and the scribes and be killed. And after three days, rise again. Matthew 12 and 40. For just as Jonah was three days and three nights in the belly of the great fish, so will the Son of Man be three days and three nights in the heart of the earth. Lord God, we thank you, Father God, for this, this number three, Lord God, which not only stands for the time that the Son of God was in the earth, Father God, and, and the time that he rose 
from the dead. But Lord God, we thank you that the number three stands for Trinity, the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. And so, Lord God, we even just praise you on today because there's some that are standing, Lord God, and and asking you for some things. And I just begin to declare and decree that in three days, Father God, that Lord God, that they shall see a move of God like never before. Father God, help us to take our eyes off of this world and what's going on. But Lord God, help us to keep, Lord, our eyes focused towards you. You, you said to, in your word to for us to keep our minds, Lord God, toward heaven and not towards the things that are on the earth. And so help us, Lord God, to focus on you. Help us to focus on heaven. Help us to remember your power and your authority. Help us to know, Father God, that your word says that the earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof. And so we just bless you on today. We thank you, Father God. We honor you. We thank you that even as this is Good Friday, Father God, we declare and decree, Lord God, just as you created everything on the earth and you looked at it and you said that it is good. We declare and decree, Father God, that everything in our life is good. Psalms 121, 3 through 8 says he will not let your foot be moved. He who keeps you will not slumber. Behold, he who keeps Israel will neither slumber nor sleep. The Lord is your keeper. The Lord is your shade on your right hand. The sun shall not strike you by day nor the moon by night. The Lord will keep you from all evil. He will keep your life. And so we thank you for this word, Lord God. We remind you of this word on today, which says that you will not let our foot be moved, that you will keep us, Father God, that you don't sleep or slumber, Father God. We thank you, Father God, that you are a keeper. We thank you, Father God, that you are a shade. We thank you, Father Father God, that you are protecting us, O oh Lord. And so we just bless you on today. Lord God, even we thank you, Father God, for Psalms 91, which says that he who dwells in the shelter of the Most High will rest in the shadow of the Almighty. We thank you, Father God. It says that surely you will save us from the fowler's snare and from the deadly pestilence. And so, Father God, as we look around, Father, at not just the coronavirus, but even other things, Father God, that are overtaking people, Lord God. We thank you, Lord God, for your word which covers us. We thank you, Father God, for your word which protects us, Father God. God, your word says that he will cover you with his feathers and under his wings, you will find refuge. And so we thank you, Father God, that you are our refuge, O Lord. We thank you, Father God, for Psalms 91. We bless your name, O Lord. We thank you, Lord God, that you said for he will command his angels concerning you to guard you in all of your ways, that they will lift you up in their hands so that you will not strike your foot against the stone. You will tread on the lion and the cobra. You will trample the great lion and the serpent. And so, Lord God, we thank you, Father God, for, for your protection. We thank you, Lord God, that, that as we look at things that may seem a greater and mightier and bigger than us, Father God, God, we thank you that you say that we shall tread upon these things, Father God, that seem to be overtaking us in our lives, O oh Lord. And we thank you, Father God, hallelujah, for your protection. We thank you, Lord God, for your provision. We even thank you, Father God, for Psalms 23, Father God, which says, The Lord is my shepherd. I shall lack for nothing. I shall have no wants. We thank you, Father God. He makes me to lie down in green pastures. And so, Father God, we thank you that even as we look at this color green, Lord God. We thank you that green represents, Lord God, restoration, a renewal, Father God. Green represents, oh Lord, our harvest season. And so we thank you, Father God, that you shall make us to lie down in our harvest season. You shall make us, Father God, to be blessed. You shall make us, Father God, hallelujah, to be prosperous. So we thank you, Father God, that even when we're disobedient, even Lord God, hallelujah, when we doubt, Lord God, that you shall still bless us and keep us. We thank you, Father God, that it says that he, he shall lead us beside still waters, quiet waters. And so, Father God, even in the midst of turmoil and trouble, Father God, that you still have a plot and a plan. You still have a ram in the bush for us, Father God, making us, Lord God, to lie down. Father God, beside uh, quiet and still waters, Father God. And so we just bless you on today. 
We thank you, Father God, for the 23rd Psalms, Father God. We thank you that you prepare a table, hallelujah, before me in the presence of our enemies. And so, Father God, even as we look around, Father, and people are backstabbing and backbiting, Father God, Lord God, that you're working it out in the background, preparing a table before us, even in the presence of our enemies, oh Lord. I thank you, Lord God, that this is a season, Father God, that you shall bring one up and take one down. And Father God, we declare and decree the rising of the saints on today, Father God. Hallelujah. That even those people that doubted them, even those people that mistreated them, even those people, Father God, who misused them and abused them, oh Lord, that you're bringing them up, Father God, even in the midst of their enemies, Father God. We thank you for this this, Lord God, this Joseph experience, oh Lord, hallelujah, where people have talked about us, even family members, oh Lord, but we thank you, Lord God, that you count us worthy, Lord God, that you bring us up, Father God, hallelujah, you elevate us, Lord God, you bless us, you keep us, Lord God, and even those people who tried to kill us, even those people who dug pits for us, oh Lord, that they shall have to come back, Father God, and bow before you, oh Lord, we thank you, Lord God, for your power, your anointing, Father God, Hallelujah, that you have within us, oh Lord. We thank you, Father God, that even on today as we go out, as we rise up, as we prepare, Father God, to move in this day, oh Lord. Hallelujah, we thank you, Lord God, that we decrease in order that you may increase in us, oh Lord. We say hide us behind the cross so that when people see us, when they hear us, when they think about us, oh Lord, that it won't be us, Father God. They won't see us, but they shall see you. We say have your way in us and through us, on today, O oh Lord. We thank you, Lord God, for this day, for this is the day that the Lord has made, and we shall rejoice, Lord God, and be glad in it, Father. And so we thank you, Lord God, that you are the head of our lives. You're the head of our household, Father God. You are our Savior. You are our Father, O oh Lord, that you care about us even more than we care about ourselves. And so on today, O oh Lord, we lift up family members. We lift up friends. We declare and decree that just like you sent your son, Father God, to die for us, Father, hallelujah, for us to be saved, we declare and decree that our household is saved, O oh Lord. Our children are saved. Grandchildren are saved, Father God. Our siblings are saved. And so, Lord God, we just thank you, Father God, that even on today as the rising of the sun, Lord God, hallelujah, that you are with us, Father God, to the going down of the same. We thank you, Father God, for the angels that you have, Lord God, pr protecting us us encamped all around even our homes and so we speak the blood covering over our doorpost on today father god we thank you father god that even in this day you have gone out before us oh lord to make every crooked way straight and every rough area smooth oh lord we thank you father god that you're setting the tone and the atmosphere of everywhere our feet shall tread on today we thank you lord god hallelujah jesus for your provisions oh lord we thank you father god that even as i pray i pray for leaders and lord god pastors Pastors, Lord God, hallelujah, that their households shall not lack for a thing, O Lord. We thank you, Father God, that even, Lord God, when this is all over, that ch churches, Lord God, ministries, Lord God, businesses shall come out, Father God, with all vigor. And we thank you, Lord God, hallelujah, for what you're doing. Hallelujah. Calls us, Father God, to not fear. Your word says, Lord God, that you have not given us a spirit of fear, but of power and of love and a sound mind. And so we thank Thank you for your power. We thank you for your love. And we declare and decree, Lord God, a sound mind over each and every person that's listening on today. We thank you, Lord God. Hallelujah for what you're doing in our life, Lord God. We even thank you, Father God, and pray for our enemies, O oh Lord. You tell us, Father God, to pray for all people, Father God, all people, Lord God. Hallelujah. And so we pray on today for everyone. Lord God, we pray, Father God, for those people they call, hallelujah, who are in the front line, Father God. Those uh, are, are the police officers, the EMTs, Lord God, the, the doctors, nurses, everybody working at the hospitals, Lord God. Hallelujah. People in gross Restores people delivering food, people in fast food, oh Lord. We pray protection over them, Lord God. I, I pray, Lord God, for the intercessors, Lord God, the people who have been on the wall, who have been standing on the wall, praying with all due diligence, Lord God. I thank you, Lord God, that I pray for them, and, and even as they have been, Father God, selfless and praying for others, Lord God. I lift up prayers for them on today, Lord God, that whatever they stand in need of, Father God, that you shall meet all. 
all of their needs according to your riches and glory. Cover their households, Lord God, and I come against any type of retaliating demons, Father God. Hallelujah. Any type of retribution, Lord God. Uh, anything coming against them, Lord God, for the prayers that they have prayed. Even, Lord God, as they pray for healing, Father God, I come against any attacks upon their body, any attacks upon their mind, Father God, the spirits uh, the spirits of heaviness and weariness, O oh Lord. Lord God, strengthen them, O oh Lord God. Give them the strength of the eagle, Father God, to fly above any type of circumstances or situations that are going on. I thank you, Father God, that I cover their households, that even as they have been selfless and even not praying for themselves, O oh Lord, but praying for others. Lord God, I pray, Father God, that the, that the blood covering is over them and not just their homes, but even their finances, O oh Lord, around their family members, their children, Lord God, siblings. And so we thank you, Lord God, hallelujah, for the intercessors, Lord God, the watchmen on the wall, Father God. Lord God, we thank you, Father God, that even as you wake us up in the midnight hour, Father God, 3 a.m., 6 a.m., Father God, we thank you, Father God, for the ones who shall get up and pray on the behalf of the nation, on the behalf of their cities, oh Lord. And Father God, I speak a, a, a blessing upon their household, Lord God, that even after they sacrifice, even after they give, even after they're, they're obedient, Father God, I thank you, Father God, for you rewarding their obedience, Father God. And I speak, Father God, that even everyone that's on this broadcast on today, Lord God, who counted it not robbery to get up, Father God, and to pray on today, pray for others, Lord God. We thank you, Father God, for the blessing. We thank you for your anointing. We thank you, Father God, hallelujah, for everything that you're doing in their life, oh Lord. I speak, Lord God, prosperity over them. You said in your word that you wish above all things that we would prosper and be in good health even as our soul prospers. And so, Father God, I speak that prosperity over them on today. I thank you, Father God, hallelujah, for your anointing that's upon their lives, oh Lord. We thank you, Father God, that you're pulling people out of the background, out of the back, Father God, hallelujah, out of, Lord God, even closets, Lord God, hallelujah, those who are hiding, Father God, with those great anointings, and you're pulling them into the front, Father God, cause them not to be fearful for the things that you shall command them to do, O Lord praying, Father God, hallelujah, for people, for strangers, even in public places. I thank you, Father God, for your anointing and covering that shall be upon them, that even as we come out of this thing, Father God, this test that you have us in, Father God, we declare and decree already victory. Victory is ours, O Lord. We thank you, Father God, you said in your word that no weapon that is formed against us shall prosper, and every tongue that rises up against us, Lord God, you shall condemn, and so we thank you, O Lord. Lord. Hallelujah for prosperity upon your people, O oh Lord. We thank you, Father God. Hallelujah for, for our enemies, Lord God, which you have made our footstools, Lord God, who only come to elevate us to a higher level. And so I thank you, O oh Lord. I thank you, Father God. We bless you on today, O oh Lord. And we say, have your way. Have your way. Have your way. Glory to your name. We bless you, O oh Lord. My God, thank you, Lord God. Michelle Warren, I don't know if you're still on, but I'm going to release this word to you. Glory to God. Michelle, I hear God saying, he's showing me you. I don't know what you do, but he's showing uh, me you to me. And you have people all around you. You have uh, even young people. And, and God is saying that I call you as a teacher. You have a, an anointing upon your life to teach. And even if you're not in that profession, God says that I call you as a teacher. God says, I shall begin to download into you like never before. And even as people come to you, do you have, God says, I place the spirit of counsel upon upon your life that many shall be coming to you and telling you their problems and having you pray for them and so we cover you on today that even as you have this anointing of counsel upon your life and God shall begin to download into you revelations I even see you 
Glory to God, writing some type of manual. And I, we pray on today that God will cover you and keep you and even give you the provisions for the books and the manuals that you shall write. And even we speak on today that they shall be anointed that as you as they get sent out and arrive in people's homes, that the, even the just the atmosphere of the homes shall change. Glory to God by even the arriving of the books and even them reading the books and the manuals. And so we speak a blessing and an anointing upon your life that even as God begins to shift you in this direction we come against fear we come against doubt and we speak Lord God your a great anointing upon the pages that people shall read we thank you Father God that even as they read it Father God their very lives shall be changed Lord God we just thank you Father God for the anointing that's upon her life we come against Father God, hallelujah, every attack upon her. That even I hear Michelle God say that the things that you have been through in your past were preparation for these books and manuals that you shall write. That God says that you have a great testimony, hallelujah, you have a great testimony. That even there are some people close to you who don't even know the things, the struggles that you have been through in your life. And so, Lord God, as she has cried tears, oh Lord, that people didn't even see we thank you father god for you lord god covering her and protecting her and wiping away all of her tears we thank you father god that these tears only watered father god her harvest oh lord and we declare and decree father god that this is our harvest season that blessings shall spring forth we thank you for the favor of god that is upon her life and father god we just cover not only her but even her family we thank you father god for the things that she has been through because lord god they only prepared her, Lord God, for her future. And so, Lord God, continue to do a work in her life. Continue to bless her and keep her. And we speak, Father God, not only protection over her household, but we speak provision, Lord God, that even the financial need that she stands in need of, Father God, Lord God, we come into agreement on today, Lord God, for you meeting all of her needs, even those financial needs, Father God, and so begin to bless her and keep her like never before. We thank you, Father God, that even those who 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 uh, spoke against her and who doubt the anointing that she has, oh Lord, Lord God, we thank you for victory in her life, Father God, for those she has prayed for, O oh Lord. We thank you, Father God, that the prayers of the righteous availeth much. And so we thank you for her prayers, O oh Lord, that you hear her cries, you hear her prayers. And so we just thank you on today. Have your way. Lead her and guide her. We bless you, Lord. We bless you, Lord. Hallelujah. Glory to your name. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Sherry, Sherry, Shanae, how are you? Glory to God. Hallelujah. I hear God saying to you that you're stronger than you think. That you're stronger than you think. That you have an anointing upon your life. God wants you to... to He's going to begin to move on you. He's going to begin to send people to encourage you. He's going to begin to send people to, to, to help you to understand the great anointing that's upon your life. And so God is saying that this is a season that he is opening up a door. Even I see you standing before a mirror, glory to God. And this mirror is a spiritual mirror. And God says that this represents me, um, showing you the anointing that is within you that God says that you when we become saved we become new creatures and God wants you to understand that you are a new creature that even those the the end as the enemy comes to try to bring up your past and and to condemn you in areas um that people the Bible says that a prophet has no honor not not even in their especially in their hometown and so God says there are people that are close to you who don't understand the anointing upon your life who don't recognize the anointing that's upon your life and God is saying I I I I expose you now. And when he says he exposes you, that means he's going to present you to those doubters, present you to those evil ones, present you 
meaning taking the cover off and showing them the anointing that's upon your life and just who you are, just who he created you to be. And God says that even before I do that, I'm going to show you, you first. He wants you to understand the great anointing that's upon your life for you to not doubt, for you to, to, to rise up as an eagle. And God, and I even speak protection over her now, oh Lord, Lord God, that even as she, you began to, to, to bring her up, you elevating her in the spirit, oh Lord, that that she shall go forth with all power and authority, Father God, that you have given her in Christ Jesus. We thank you, Father God, that you're shutting out. When Jesus began to do miracles, even Jesus, the disciples, whoever, then when they began to do miracles, there were many times in the Bible that they shut people out. They shut the doubters out of the room. And God is saying, Sherry, that he's getting ready to be shutting some people out, that there are all the doubters in your life who don't understand who God has called you to be and doubting the glory of God upon your life. He's getting ready to close those doors, to shut them out and so that his work can be done through you. God says that even as I shut some out, I'm going to be sending you people that shall support you. People that understand the anointing that's upon your life. And so we thank God for, for the people that you are putting in her path, Lord God, that shall support her, that shall, shall uh, pray for her, cover her, Father God. And so we just speak of a blessings over her life like never before lord god help her to be able to let go of those people in the past even those who are weighing her down we thank you father god for the the new people that you shall connect to her lord god i even hear uh sherry there's some type of i see uh, i just hear see you at a crossroads that there is a decision that you're wanting that you're you're asking god that you're trying to make and so god is saying that uh, we speak this because we're talking about three days here um, in the number three. I speak, Lord God, that in three days, Father God, that she shall get the answer. Hallelujah. That you have for her, Lord, that in three days, Father God, give her the answer that she has been desiring, that she stands in need of. And so, Father God, we come against distractions. We come against hindrances. We come against, Lord God, even delays, Lord God. We thank you, Father God, for covering her, keeping her protecting her in Jesus name. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Hey, sister Marlene, glory to God. Prophetess, how are you? Hallelujah. Sis, I hear God saying that he is going to reward your obedience. Um, I hear, I see where the enemy has tried to, to creep up and make you fearful about something and doubt um, you hearing the Lord's voice and God wants you to understand that you do hear him. He says in my word, in his word, that my sheep know my voice and a stranger, they will not follow my sheep know my voice. And so God says, you hear him. You don't doubt yourself. Don't doubt that you hear his voice and continue to move like never before continue to have that, 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 um, that, the energy, yes, the energy and the, the vigor continue to have that, um, and move in the Lord. God says, don't doubt, don't doubt. I don't know why he is having me go there, but I guess the enemy's trying to creep up and make you doubt that you hear from God, um, concerning your life or concerning decisions. But God wants you to understand you do hear his voice. And so we speak protection over her, Lord God. Um, I thank you, Father God, that even as she, Lord God wakes up and, and, and lays down father God, that you're with her. You said in your word that you would never leave us nor forsake us. And so we thank you for the covering Lord God, that's upon her life. And we even speak father God healing over her entire body from the top of her head to the soles of her feet. Lord God, we declare and decree father God, your blood, father God flowing through her veins that even as the, the blood of Jesus was shed for us, father God, even as you breathed life into to us, Father God. I thank you, Father God, that the breath that you breathe over her, even on today, Father God, shall give her uh, uh, vigor, Father God, energy, Lord. I don't know why he's having me say that. We come against weariness. We come against fatigue, oh Lord. We thank you, Father God, for you breathing a, a, a second wind into her, Father God. And I even thank you for the blessings that you have for in store for her, Father. I, Marlene, God says, I have 
Jesus. God says, I have many things stored up for you. God has blessings stored up for you, Marlene. And so we thank you, Father God, for the, a tra- I hear a transference of wealth. A transference of wealth shall be coming to you. That God has a blessings, blessings stored up for you. And so we thank you for the blessings that are upon her life, Lord. We thank you, Father God, for keeping her, protecting her, and even guiding her footsteps. So we thank you, Lord. We thank you, Father God. Pastor Mike, Pastor Mike, I don't know if you're still on here. I want to release a word to you. God says that you're getting ready to to go forth like never before. We speak protection over you. We speak continued healing over you. I thank you, Father God, that you're strengthening him. That you're keeping him in his household, Father God. We thank you, Lord God, for everything that you're doing in him and through him. Pastor Mike, I hear God saying, don't give up. Don't give up. I don't know what that means or what it concerns, but he says, don't give up. That God says, I'm I'm, I'm shifting things in your life. I'm shifting things in your life. He says, everything that you have been through was for a reason. Everything that you have been through was for a reason. I even see a time of celebration coming up. And God is saying, begin to celebrate now, he says, even. He says, before that time arrives, before you get the blessings. He said, begin to celebrate now. I don't know if it's a milestone, birth date, or something's coming up. And then God says, begin to celebrate. God is getting ready to do some awesome things in your life and through your ministry. And so we speak protection and provision over you and your wife and your household, your kids, even over the ministry. Father God, we thank you for Pastor Mike that you saved him. You saved him for such a time as this. And we thank you, Father God, that 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 even as your son, Jesus Christ rose, Lord God, from the dead. We thank you, Father God, for what you did in Pastor Mike's life, Father God. Lord God, keeping him throughout these these trials and tribulations that he has been through. Lord God, we speak to, to not only keep his body, but keep his mind, Lord God. Hallelujah. Keep his heart, Father God. We thank you, Father, for the anointing that is upon his life and even the love that he has for the people. Lord God, continue to do a work in him and through him. I come against any attacks upon his fire finances, Lord God. We thank you, Father, that your word says that you wish that we would prosper and be in good health, even as our soul prospers. And so we thank you for your word over his life, Lord God, that he shall prosper. He shall prosper in every area and aspect of his life, in his finances, in his body, Lord God, in his ministry. And so we thank you for him on today. We thank you. We thank you. Glory to God. Thank you. Pastor, Pastor Mike. Oh, I guess I need, I got two Pastor Mikes on here. Michael, that was for Michael Payne. Now we have Mike Mars, Pastor Mike Mars. Glory to God. Mike, there are things that, that there's, there are times when you doubt God and the anointing that is upon your life. And, and, and it's only because of your, your humility that you have. And so there are times when you're like, well, I, 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 I just can't believe that God, oh, how do I say it? Um, because you have a past, let's say this, you have a pastoral anointing upon your life. And sometimes you doubt that, that, that anoint these anointings that, that you have upon your life. Uh, and so God is saying, begin to walk in the callings, begin to walk in the anointing that he has, uh, given you, you and your wife. And so God is saying you have a great anointing and, and, and don't, um, don't buckle down under the pressures of life and those people who doubt who God has called you to be. But God says, I'm getting ready to put an aggravating anointing upon your tongue that you're getting ready to do even some things that you have never been before done before. God is getting ready to not only use you and your wife to do ministry, Um, with couples, but God is saying, I'm going to begin to even, I see you, Mike, I'm telling you, you're getting ready to have, do like Facebook live broadcast, some kind of broadcast. And God is saying that 
that for you, when he calls you to do this, when he opens up this door for you to begin to do this, when he puts it on your heart, we come against doubt. We come against fear because God says, I'm going to begin to send people uh, that after you begin to do this, you're going to, people are going to, he's going to send people to encourage you to say that word that you put out. Um, bless me. You see, this is a time um, that that we got to, that God is helping us to understand how important social media is to people. We can't congregate together now in the churches behind the four walls because God was trying to get us out from behind the four walls anyway. And so begin, God, God, Mike, you're going to begin to, to do, um, broadcast you and you and your wife and, and, and God is going to use you guys like never before. That's an area that you're not comfortable with. And God is getting ready to make you uncomfortable. I'm telling you, he's getting ready to make you uncomfortable because he said, I have a work for you to do. There's so much on the inside of you and God is going to begin to stretch you. He's going to begin to stretch you because he has so much planned for you ahead. And so, Father God, we pray for uh, Pastor Barnes right now, Father God, for Pastor Marshall, glory to God. And we thank you for him and his wife, oh Lord. We thank you, Lord God, that as you have placed them together, we thank you even for the couple's ministry that they have. I thank you, Father God, for their ministry, Father God, that they have, that even as you begin to stretch them both, Lord God, and even as you begin to have them doing broadcast, Father, we thank you for the, for the protection, even over social media, even over the airways, Father Father God, we thank you that we come against any type of retaliating demons, Lord God, that try to attack them in their household. We thank you, Father God, for you opening up doors for them, Father God. Hallelujah, that no man can close. And so, Father God, as you begin to stretch them, Lord God, we thank you, Father God, that they shall become closer and closer like never before. We thank you, Father God, that the things that they have been through in ministry, Father God, was only to show them, Lord God, how to pastor your people. And so, we thank you, Lord God, for the humility that they have. We thank you, Father God, for the love that they have. We thank you, Father God, for you, Lord God, doing something in their life that you have never done before, opening up these doors. We thank you, Father God, that even the words that they shall speak over your people, Lord God, shall shall encourage them, Father God, and 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 edify, Lord God, your name. We thank you, Father God, for the blessings of the Lord that are upon them. Continue to do a work in them and through them, Lord God. Even I speak protection over their household, over their children. Lord God, we thank you, Father God, for the bless you blessing their finances, Lord Lord. And so we thank you, Lord God. I thank you for Mike and Cassandra, Lord. I thank you, Father God, for keeping them. And we honor you on today. Yes, Sherry, new things for them. Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Blessings, 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 blessings. In three, I just hear the Holy Spirit saying in three days, in three days, somebody type that up on your, on their, type that up in there in three days. God is getting ready. We know what happens on Sunday. We know what that represents. Resurrection day. But there are some of us who need God to move in three days. You, you, you want to see a manifestation of God like never before. And so, Lord God, we speak your word in three days. Amen, Cherry. In three days. Amen. Three days, three days, three days. God is getting ready to do something. Y'all know when the, um, in the Bible, when, uh, I, don't, I can't remember who that was who went to war. Remember, it took them three days to bring back all the spoil, the, 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 the stuff that they had gotten from that battle. But it, it ha it only happened, um, after the battle. And God is saying that, yes, you going through some things. Yes, you had to go through some things. But he says that at in the end, he says, your reward shall be great. And so we thank you, Father God, for the things that we have gone through, that even as they went to battle, Father God, it took them three days to bring back all the blessings of the Lord. We declare and decree, Father God, that when we come out of this, O oh Lord, that the blessings shall be so rich, Father God. Hallelujah. You said, Lord God, that you shall... Lord God, do exceeding and abundantly above all that we can ever 
think, Father God. We can ask or think. And so we thank you, Lord God, that in three days, oh Lord, that we shall see a manifestation of Lord of God like never before. And so we thank you, Father God, for the blessing of the Lord. We thank you for blessing us and keeping us, blessing our homes, our ministries, Father God, our jobs. We thank you, Father God, for the Trinity, the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. And we speak your name through the atmosphere in our homes, O oh Lord. We thank you, Father God. We thank you. We thank you for what you're doing. Pastor Clark, how are you? <clears throat> Pastor Clark. Glory to God. Glory to God. Pastor Clark, I hear God saying that he told you to do something. <clears throat> <clears throat> that he told you to do something, but you haven't done it yet. It's because of procrastination and I think a little fear. And so God is saying, I, I see you writing. Um, it's, I don't know if it's telling your story, but I see you writing. That you, God says, I've called you to, um, to minister unto a select group. And even as you write, he said the words that you write, shall bless so many people. You have an anointed and a ministry for women. I don't know if you have a women's ministry, but God says that you have an anointed and a, a, a ministry for women. And even as you begin to, he's going to also make you uncomfortable, put you in, in some places, doing some things that you haven't done before. And you're going to kind of feel out of place and uncomfortable. But God says, I've gone before you to prepare the way for you. And even as you step out on faith, I hear him say that God says, I've already anointed and blessed the works of your hand. And and even I hear God say that you have a healing anointing upon you. And God says, as you begin to operate, not just in this prophetic, like never before, because you do operate in the prophetic, but God says, I'm getting ready to download into you greater revelations. And God says, I'm going to be using you to lay hands upon the sick and they shall recover. And so we thank God for the anointing that's upon your life. We thank him for not only your you and your husband's ministry, but even your ministry that you have, this women's ministry. And even as you begin to write, Lord, I don't know if it's a book. I don't know if it's a manual, whatever it is. I just see you writing that God says, I've anointed your hands. He says, I've anointed your hands to write. I've anointed your hands to heal. I've anointed your hands to make wealth. And even I see a financial blessing that's coming your way. And God is saying that it is an unexpected blessing. And so we thank you, Father God, for opening up this door for her and her family, Father God. Lord God, bless her husband. Bless their ministry, O oh Lord. Bless everything, Father God, and every person that they come in contact with. Father God, we thank you, O oh Lord. Hallelujah for what you're doing. God says, do not give up, Pastor Clark. Do not give up. Do and 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 tell your husband that, that we said do not get weary in well doing. For him to press on. I see you you holding your hands upon his back. Glory to God. And you, he says, I call you as the intercessor. And even as people see him as the head of the ministry, God says that I, you are doing the work behind the scenes, that you are his intercessor, that you have are holding up his arms. Glory to God. That when he gets tired, when he gets weak, that you pray in the nighttime, you pray in those times that people don't even know. And so father God, we speak Lord God, strength over her father God, that even as she lifts up her husband's arms, Lord God, even as she supports him and intercedes on his behalf. We thank you, Father God, for her, Father God, supporting the ministry, Lord God. And so, Father God, continue to do a work in them and through them. Father God, continue to bless Pastor Arletta, Father God, like never before. We even speak protection over her, Father God, as she is one that's in the front lines, Father God. Hallelujah. Um, in the healthcare field, we thank you, Father God, for Psalms 91, Father God, that nothing shall come near her, nothing shall come near her husband, her, their children, their ministry, their home, Father God. Lord God, we speak protection and provision over them in Jesus' name. We thank you, Lord God. We thank you for them. We thank you for her. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Amen. Amen, Pastor. Amen. I am just spoken last night. You're speaking that which has already been spoken. Amen. Glory to God. God says, even Pastor Arletta, that you're stronger than you think. Hallelujah. You're stronger than you think. Glory to God. Because you're holding up. I'm going to just say it like I hear him saying. God says, you're holding up, meaning you're supporting the ministry. You're supporting the ministry. 
God says, because you're behind the scenes. You do things that people don't even know you do. Glory to God. Praying uh, when people don't even know you're praying. Giving of yourself. Being obedient unto God. And so we just speak blessings over you and your ministry. Hallelujah. You and your husband, I even speak protection over him. Father God, I come against, I hear him, Pastor Arletta, saying that the enemy is, if he hasn't already, he's going to come and try to attack uh, your husband's uh, body. And so we thank God that he has anointed your, your healing hands, anointed your hands. God says, begin to lay hands upon your husband and praise God for the, the healing in his body. That even as the enemy comes to attack his body, we thank God for her being an intercessor, not just for her husband, but even for the ministry. And so we come against the enemy attacking him, Father God. We thank you, Lord God, for the anointing that's upon her life, that she has a great mandate even upon her life. And so move like never before in them and through them. I even hear, Pastor Arletta, I see a transition. So I don't know if you guys are planning to move out of the building that you're in, but God is saying that there shall be, even, I'm going to tell y'all something. <laughs> when we come out of this, glory to God, y'all going to see some, You expect the unexpected from God, I'm telling you. Expect the unexpected from God. But God, Pastor Arletta, I see God, I see you guys moving. I see you guys moving. God says that he has given you a spirit to, to, to sustain, to, to endure. And so we thank God for, for your endurance. That God is saying that you guys are getting are going to be moving. That when you come out of this, glory to God, that God is going to begin to use your ministry like never before. Hallelujah. Yes, we speak strength over her now, Father God. Father God, that you would move in her life. You say, well, Lord God, that when we're weak, you strengthen us. As a matter of fact, that your strength is perfected in weakness, Father God. And so, Father God, strengthen her like never before. Strengthen her body. Strengthen her mind, Father God. We thank you, Lord God, for a move of a, a move of God upon her household, Father God. That even those tears, Father God, that she has cried. Hallelujah. That people don't even know. We thank you, Lord God. Hallelujah. We cover uh, Pastor Clark, her husband, Lord God, right now in Jesus name, that you would continue to do a work in him and through him. Father God, Lord God, let him not get weary in well doing, Father God. But we thank you, Father God, for the uh, reward that is ahead of him, Father God, because he shall continue, Lord God. He shall not give up. He shall not give in. And so we speak blessings over him, blessings over his finances, blessing over his mind, Lord God. Hallelujah. We thank you, Lord God. We thank you, Lord God. We thank you, Lord God, for moving like never before. Hallelujah. Uh, Pastor Arletta, I don't even know how long you worked up at that clinic. Glory to God. But God is uh, saying that that is for a season. That when we come out of this, glory to God, um, and within the next two years, um, that God is going to e explode your ministry. God is saying, I'm going to explode your ministry. Glory to God. And so I don't know which one of you, you or your husband, I don't know if he works, but I see one of you is going to be working full time in ministry. And God is saying, I'm going to begin to, to bless your ministry and pour into your ministry like never before. That even as you move into this new building, glory to God and, and the people, I'm telling you, people coming out of this thing, this virus and all of this stuff, they're going to be uh, running to God. Hallelujah. And God is saying that, you know, when we say when the, the doors of the church are open, that's how it's going to be. How people come up to the altar. God says that that's how the, that's how it's going to be. And so I'm telling you guys, we got to be prepared for a move of God. We got to be prepared to help the people. And so God is saying that I'm going to begin to bless your ministry, that even as you open the doors of the church, that sh that people shall be flowing in like never before. And God is saying, Pastor Clark, Pastor Michael Mars, Marshall, Pastor Michael Payne, all of the pastors, the shepherds, that God is saying, do not give up, do not give in, because he says that when the doors of the church are open, the people shall need a place to come uh, and 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 to to have someone pray for them, so the people shall be need a place to come for healing, healing of their hearts, healing of their minds, and so we thank you, Lord God. We thank you for their ministry. I thank you, Father God, for, for keeping them even during this time, Lord God. Cause people to sow into their ministries that even that aren't even members of their church. 
So we thank you, Father God, for putting them on the minds of men. We thank you for putting them on the hearts of man, Father God, that many shall pour into them like never before. And so we thank you, Lord God. We honor you. We adore you. Hallelujah. Amen. Four years. You're entering on the, the, the year of grace at number five. But God is going to be shifting you, um, Pastor Clark. It's That's not a permanent um, position that you're in. It's only for a season. But God says, it, you know, God gives us greater. I'm telling you, we don't go backwards in God. So even as he opens up this door for you to be able to leave there and transition, um, we thank God for him blessing you and keeping you because God says, I have much work for you and your husband to do. And he says, that as I began to shift you in a new direction, he says that we come against doubt and fear. Hallelujah. That you shall trust in the Lord with all your heart and with all your mind and you shall not lean into your own understanding. And so we thank you. We thank you, Lord, for blessing you. Her, Father God, that even as you transition her from where she works, Father, we thank you, Father God, that it is greater because your word says, Lord, that the greater days are ahead of us, Father God. And so we thank you, Father God, for blessing them and keeping them in all of their ways. We thank you, Father. Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory to God. Uh, um, Pastor Mike Marshall God is getting ready to have you operating in the prophetic more that I've even, I even hear you saying, Oh, that's, that's not really my area, but God is saying you do have a prophetic anointing upon your life and God is getting ready to use you to speak to the minds and the hearts of people that even as you begin to, he's, you prophesy when you don't even know you prophesy and you, you're just thinking you giving a, uh, encouraging word to people, but God says you have been prophesying. Oh, wow. She says that that was spoken by Dr. Ann Harvey many years ago. Oh, bless God. Hallelujah. That even, um, even Michael, Pastor Marshall, that even, um, you're getting ready to, to have more visions and more dreams and, and you are going to be operating in that area of the prophetic like never before. And so we thank you, Lord God, for him and the anointing that's upon his life, that even that you're shifting some things in their spiritual walk and their spiritual life. And so we thank you, Lord God. I, I just bless God for everybody who was on this broadcast on today. Um, God just put it in my heart at the last minute. I'm telling you to, to do, to pray each morning for, uh, five days. And so we thank God for, and I didn't even realize that we were going to end on today, good Friday. And so I just bless God for us being obedient that even some things that we, um, don't quite understand that we still obey God and we still trust God. And so this is a season for us to trust him like never before. And so just continue as you go out on today, whether you're going to be in home in the house or you're going to leave the house. I just speak protection over you all provision over you all and that 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 God would begin to download in you like never before. And so we just bless. I bless God for all of you. Um and uh, those that support this ministry, support me and pray for me. I'm telling you, I, I, um, I can tell when people are praying. And so I just thank God for you all. And I just pray that you would ha all have a blessed day. I don't know when we'll be back on. I'll be back on, but, um, I I'll try to post it ahead of time so that you guys will know. And I speak, um, blessings over you, protection over you. As you go out this day to do the will of the Father. Amen. All right. I love you guys. You guys have a blessed, blessed day.